Hello everybody, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, and welcome to part one of the new series on the channel called Make Dress Great Again. Yep, yeah, we, uh, you guys voted, and we are in the end of the series, Make Dress Great Again. So this is episode one of Make Dress Great Again. Sorry it was a few days late, but, uh, you know, life is life. Uh, I explained it in the last video why, you know, there's been a little bit of a break in videos, but... Uh, let's get straight into the episode, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the uh, series as a whole in a few minutes when we get into the, uh, get a little bit more into our mission. So basically what we're going to be doing for this first episode is we're going to be sending a, uh, rover out to Dres to kind of survey the area, and, uh, this is a rocket, just finished burning through our first stage, just starting up the second stage, which is just one Rhino engine, very, very light payload, it's like two tons in total. Uh, but yeah, rovers aren't, you know, very heavy. It kind of looks like a bit of a square right now, but you guys will kind of see what it, you know, what, what kind of setup I have going on when you, when we get a little more into the mission. But we just basically finished up, uh, our initial burn, and then we're going to just drift up to our apwaps, and then, uh, do a second burn to circularize around Kerbin, and then, uh, we'll plan our interplanetary burn to get out to Drez. Uh, so while we're doing all that stuff, I will, uh, just go ahead and talk about, uh, the series as a whole, and what the plan is. So... About like a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago, I put out a poll uh, where uh, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to vote on a new series, uh, what you guys would want, and I gave you guys some options. Uh, it was like Val Village, Kraken Kingdom, Populate Poll, or Make Dress Great Again, and uh, everyone, people voted for Make Dress Great Again, and uh, that's what we're doing. So basically, this is uh, it's kind of similar to like Matt Lowndes' Destination Duna or. Um, Life on Lathe. It's a little bit different. We're doing a little more different stuff than just kind of a base or something. We're gonna, you know, you got you got to keep out the dunites. Uh, so you know, we need walls and build build the build the wall. Um, but yeah, it's basically along those lines. We're gonna be doing space stations, rovers, uh, bases. Um, ideally, I want to make it like kind of like a town. Like I have a bunch of little bases or buildings all around. I think that'd be really cool if you have, you know, like one has like communications in it, one has a refinery, one has and you know, Kerbals can walk around and there'll be like cars and buses and you know, SSTOs that can take you in shuttles. I can go up to the space station, all that. It'd be, it'd be, it's going to be cool. So stay tuned. Um, I'm planning to do this uh, series every other day, so if you don't know, I do daily uploads, so um, one day it'll be this series, and we'll do another video, and then we'll be back to the Make Dress Great Again series, so every other day, uh, that'll be the plan, at least for the first few episodes, and then uh, we'll just see how people like it, if we can either cut back or do more, so basically that's the plan, and step one of that plan is to actually find a place to start our entire colonization, so that's what this... Uh, that's what this uh, rover is for, where it's going to be kind of surveying the area, find like a nice flat spot and a nice cool looking spot to kind of start our, start our builds at, start our, start our, uh, start the, start the town, basically. So it's just going to, we're going to be landing it on Dresden, it's going to drive around a little bit and uh, basically just serve as like a land here for all my future uh, base parts, not obviously space stations, space stations don't land, but uh, that's the, that's the plan for today's video. So. Uh, I'm gonna be doing my interplanetary burn right now. Uh, I did, I did, I, I planned my uh, plane change burn before. Uh, I did, I did, bo I planned both burns at once because Dredge is at a very inclined orbit, and you do need to do a plane change. So you kind of need to do both to get a generally a, a good idea of what you're looking at. Dredge can be actually deceivingly high in terms of delta v cost. Like I mean, this isn't the worst plane change, but I mean, this isn't a great one. Like I mean, you know, Dres is way down there, and it costs 200 meters a second. It can cost way more if you don't have your maneuver node in the right spot. Like if you have your maneuver node in the wrong spot, like this exact burn could have cost a thousand. So, you know, keep that in mind uh, if you're ever going out to Dres. Um, it can be you. You probably want to know what your. Uh, you want you probably want to know how maneuver nodes work. Probably have a good idea. So, um, that's life advice for today. Uh, just doing the one, first and second correction burns, this first one just gets us onto a encounter with Drizz, and then the second one will get us a little bit more fine-tuned and get our periap set to a reasonable altitude so we can do our circularization burn uh, around the very neglected planet, guys, because that's that's part of the reason we're doing this series. Like, you know, Drizz, Drizz is a very, very neglected planet, and it needs to be made great again. Like, all those other planets like Duna and, you know, Laith and... The mun, mun's out of planet, but all the, they're outshining Duna or Dreads. They're taking away the spotlight for too long. There have been too many bad, bad deals everyone has been making, and Dreads has gotten screwed over. So Dreads needs to be made great again because, yeah, it's just not enough love for Dreads, guys. The fake news has 
has taken over and they are very anti Dreads fake news. So we need to we need to show them show them that Dreads can be made great. So <laughs> that's 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 the inspiration for this series. I think that I think that's kinda of funny. I am pretty I don't know, I'm kinda of giving myself credit. I thought that was a pretty clever name. I don't know, maybe it's stupid. Let me know what you guys think. If you think this is just a ridiculous, stupid idea. Well, if no one watches it, then I'll figure out, I'll kind of deduce that on my own. But at least for now, if you're watching this video, um, thank you. Um, we're starting our burn. <laughs> so you gotta get a little bit closer look at what we got going on here. So basically I have a sky crane set up, which if you don't know is how the, um, how the, like the Perseverance and all the Mars rovers, basically how they landed. You just have, um, you have, a uh, like the rover and then on top of it you have a little bit of fuel I think and then some engines that kind of are atop and then they, they fire downward. Uh, that's uh, that's how they land and that's how I decided to land because it's just easier. Uh, because otherwise you have to like flip flip them over or like deploy them out of something or they have to like fall over or any you know, weird stuff. So I'm just doing it that way, it's basically the easiest way. And I have like way too much Delta V on it. I, you know, you saw that was not a big rocket I launched with and I have like over a thousand extra Delta V. So I'm like, hey, maybe we can make our orbit echo down. Cause you know, that was like 80 meters a second. So I'm like, eh, well, I guess we'll just waste it. Uh, but then I noticed like, oh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? And I thought, is that the Dreads Canyon? And then I kind of time warped around and then I, I, I realized when I get, when I got closer, Oh crap, that's a Joe's Canyon. So I'm like, okay, well, we're going there. So I just, I burn a little bit there and then uh, I do, I basically what I do is I get a little bit, I get, I get down to about, I think two kilometers and then I basically just cancel all of my horizontal velocity or my vertical velocity. Um, and then I stage away that bottom skiff stage, even though, you know, it has like a ton of Delta V left, but you know, I need to do my sky crane because you know, its role is finished. And I did have the whole thing mounted upside down, so we do have to kind of set our control point, and then we have to uh, just kind of basically flip the control point over. Uh, I don't know, it's just how I made the rover, but you guys can actually get your first good look at the rover right now. And then we are just uh, flipping, there we go, there we go, flipped over, and this is basically what we're looking at. So ideally we want, I deployed it early just so we can get a little bit of separation from the, uh, from the, the main stage so we didn't like end up crashing into it. And uh, I also did also end up exploding the backside of my rover, so I just turned off that engine. And, you know, surprisingly, because, you know, the reaction wheels are so strong, the thing was able to just completely maintain retrograde perfectly. I was pretty surprised by that, uh, but, you know, I guess that's reaction wheels. That's how they worked in real life, but not really. So we're going to be burning three of the four engines uh, as we very, 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 very slowly drift towards the surface of Drez. Very nice looking rover-ish. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it a nice rover? I, I I don't know. Maybe it's a horrible rover and it's the worst thing you guys have ever seen. Let me know. It's powered on RTG and uh, two solar panels just because, I you know, the bigger solar panels look really stupid on it. So I just said, eh, well, RTG and then we can maybe throw some solar panels in. And, uh, oh, there's a, there's <laughs> there's uh, something exploding in the back over there. But um, either way, we're coming in. Kind of coming nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh, one wheel and oh, oh, there we go. I'm just gonna hit the brakes and uh, we've made it. Bas basically, we're still kind of rolling down the hill, but I'll just turn up the brake on that and then that'll stop us. So next thing to do is we're gonna be de de deploying the sky crane or getting it away because that is not a part of the rover. That is just our landing stage. Now, at first, I thought what I was gonna do is just throttle it up all the way and then hit decouple right away, but I. So uh, that that wasn't that was not good, but that's what quick saves are for, right, guys? So we can just, you know, nothing ever happened. Just just cross fading over, and this time I I decided to hit the space bar instead of decouple, and then I only throttled up to a little bit. So it just you know gently, gracefully, not in a giant explosion flies away, nice and nice and easily. Goodbye, Sky Crane. You will be missed. That looks really cool. It's just flying away. But it, yeah, it just it arcs over and then crashes just about a kilometer away, which is kind of how the real sky crane works. Uh, it does just kind of shoot up and and just leave because it is unimportant. We do not we do not leave garbage on even though we're just exploding it right there. Yeah, rip and explosion. Either way, that's that's job's done, and now we can just kind of scout around. I I want to do somewhere near the Dreads Canyon, um, so I'm gonna scout around an area near the Dreads Canyon. 
see see where it's good, see where it's flat. This rover, by the way, does not enjoy staying upright. It really loves to flip, which I, yeah. So this thing was a pain to drive around. Um, but, you know, we did. Dreads, it really, it doesn't look hilly when you're like orbiting it, but when you get down, thing is pretty hilly. There's not a lot of flat area, especially around the canyon, which is, you know, a giant canyon. But either way, here we go, trying to get to the edge. I think I wanted to get a screenshot and I was being a little bit, I was kind of pushing the envelope. I'm like, okay, let's see, can we make it down here? Oh, oh no, no, don't. Do not, not recommended procedure to drive down the start of the Dredge Canyon because you will fall all the way down the entire Dredge Canyon, which I just did there. And then we just start to uh, explode and oh, uh, that's not so good, is it? Oh, oh no. That is just, that is just not so good at all, is it, guys? <laughs> oh, I'm a very stupid person. Bye! I'd be even stupider if I didn't have a quick save, but luckily I, I do. I don't know how that structural panel managed to survive, but it just whacked to the ground at like some 20 meters a second almost. But either way, it's, you know, it's magical. And look at that, we're back! And here I am doing the exact same thing because I have clearly learned nothing and I really wanted my, my nice picture because pictures are very, 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 very important. I'm not even sure if I'll use this one in the actual, as the actual thumbnail of the video. That'd be kind of funny if I went through all that not to use it, but I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool, don't you guys? I don't know. You know, it's not like I can ask for feedback beforehand because you won't see the video you know, until I've already chosen the thumbnail. But either way, um, let's get back to, back down the road. That was that was our little art break from exploring. We'll do a little more oh, flipping over. <laughs> this thing is flippy, but actually it does, because its center of mass is fairly low, it actually does land on its wheels fairly often. Like, see how we almost fell back down the canyon, but uh, either way, I'm just gonna keep driving along. And I was driving along, I noticed something. I'm like, huh, what is that? What could that? You probably you could have saw that that there's a little um, like icon as we were coming into land um, of like some vehicle. But there, look that that's that's the buggy that we took to Drez on my I think it was like third or fourth ever KSP or main KSP video. I, I kind of did some weird, but it was one of my first KSP videos I did on the channel. And I sent a a, a dune buggy to Drez, and we kind of drove around the canyon and stuff. And I planned my burn drone, so I had to do a rescue mission. But that's that's beside the point. Um, yeah, look at that. There it is. There's the. I, I said, oh, you know, I bet I, I bet it's still there. And I'm like, oh, it is. Why not? Why not just have a look, see what's going on, see how it's doing. There's no Kerbal here, but um, I mean, it looks fine. It actually looks bigger than I thought, at least relative to the the, the rover. But um, if you haven't watched the video of the dune buggy. link in the there's I'll put it I'll put a card up so click on that but plugs aside um let's keep driving um I kind of I, I found a spot right about here so I think I think like you see that how that little right before the cliff there's a little bit of a flat-ish area and um I decided I decided on that area as our base like right about here uh, I know it's not perfectly flat but you know it just, it's where we stopped flipping, so um, it's where we ended up, and I think, I think this is fairly flat, and it's near the canyon, and it's all awesome and stuff, so I think that's a good spot. I think this is where, where this is the site. This will be the amazing site that we look back on in all, all the years as the greatest site ever, where, the, where everywhere a legendary, I'm just going to stop talking now. This is getting stupid. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Until next time, please rate or comment. Today's the video. Once again, thank you for watching. Until next time, and bye.